I've had a couple of uh, PMs about the mappings I do, uh, so I thought I'd just do a quick video to explain how they all hang together. The, the mapping I'm actually going to look at today is the latest mapping, or going forward, this is the standard that I'm going to actually Im implement on my mappings. Um, you can see there's a VER2 here, um, it's just my version number, um, and what makes this uh, a lot different from my mappings in the past is there's absolutely no menu button and, and it's all sort of page driven. So if I go straight away and say into my knobs view, as you say, there's no um, menu button, but we've got um, a page, so we can go through all the different pages which relate to that. Also, the data encoder now is, is mapped to the pages, so we can very, very, very quickly whiz to the page we want. Over on the other side, we do have what we call our quick menu. So by using the bottom buttons, again, we can jump to um, very, very quickly to certain pages. Right? So these first four here happen to be set up in this particular uh, system to the different oscillators. Um, what I've done is I'm, I'm using one of the blanking plates um, within reason uh, and I'm populating that with the, the quick menus. Um, so you can obviously use that for reference within reason. Uh, the other big difference as well uh, in this new menu system, okay, yes, we can go across to our fader side where we've got our faders and we've got our upper encoders. Uh, again, once the upper encoders are shown using the scroll, we can actually map the top or we can use the data encoder to very, very quickly get to where we need to. So what some people don't realize is the toggle view button and toggle mute will actually change your views between fader button and the toggle view would be upper and fader. You can see it on the, st the screen there changing. And in fact, when we're in this view, you can see with the, the buttons and what the menus they are actually, or the pages, should I say, they're actually related to. And again, if I'm in obviously the fader view, by hitting this, I'm changing them encoders. Uh, I can either use the quick menus, I can use the old fashioned way of scrolling around to each one, or I can use the data encoder. Obviously the problem with the data encoder is you don't know where, if you don't know the order of the menus, you're not 100% sure where you're going to. Um, the nice thing about the quick ones is, um, obviously I can say, oh look, here's LFO. If I want to get to LFO2 there now, I can just sort of click on that. So that's how really basically the new menu system works. Quite straightforward. Um, I say any more questions, um, feel free to put them up on the Reason Talk uh, thread. Um, Enjoy the mappings.